Okay, so since we are dealing with common fraction and uh, mixed fraction, let's add um, common fraction. Let's say I'm having um, 3 and 1 over 6 plus um, 6 and 5 over 2. Now, I want to add these two. How do I add these two? Because the denominators are not the same, okay? But the question I can ask myself, how many twos do I have in two? There is only one. How many twos do I have in what? In six, there are only three. So that means what? That means I'm going to add the whole numbers, which would be three plus a six, okay? Then plus, okay? So here I will have one over six, okay? Then here, when I add this one, I'm going to add the other twos that are missing here. We said how many they are missing? We said there are three twos here. Here, there's only one. That means I'm, I'm going to have five um, over two multiplied by three over three. Okay. So, okay, let's check. Uh, uh, three plus six will give us a nine. Then plus. Then we have one over six plus. 3 times 5 will give us a 15. Then 3 times uh, 2 will give us a 6. Now the denominators are the same. Since they are the same, I can simply take one denominator, which will be 6, then add the numerators. Okay. Okay. If I add the numerators and then we bring down the whole number. So we have 1 plus 15. What is 1 plus 15? It's going to give us 16 over 6. Then it's plus a 9. Then my question will be how many 6 do I have in a 16? That is 6 and it is 12. I, can con I can't continue because there's no 18. So there are 2. So this means it will be 2 and the remainder will be what? will be 4 over 6. Then here I'll have what? 9. So 9 plus 2 will give us a what? Will give us an 11 and 4 over 6. That is our final answer.